Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. Welcome back. Here is part two of the Sephora VIB haul. This year I did go a little bit overboard with my makeup and skincare purchases. I wasn't planning on buying so much this year, but um, I kind of ended up getting some things, especially like the high-end products that I'm usually not able to find them at a lesser price, which is why I ended up buying them. In any case, let's get started. Now, if you've already seen my previous haul video for the VIB sale, um, you would know that I didn't buy as much makeup in that one. It was more hair care products. If you haven't, I'll make sure to link it for you guys. But here's the other stuff that I picked up. Let's get started. Okay, so I have been wanting to get this foundation for a while. This is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. The problem is that the Sephora near my house does not carry this product in per for me to be able to look at in person. I was very confused with what shade I wanted to get. I couldn't decide because the shades are slightly different. The shades in this line are slightly different from the ones that I use. I use the Radiant Longwear foundation. Um, the shade I wear in that one is a bit darker for me. It's a little too dark doesn't match with my neck or chest so I was looking for a slightly lighter one but not too light so it, I was having a hard time. I did the shade finder match thing on Sephora's website and it matched me to this one so I was very excited when I ordered this. ordered this in the shade Light 6 Guadalupe I think is how you say it and I am happy to report that this shade is actually my perfect shade. It's even, it's already gotten dirty because I've I've been using it for three or four days now. Um, and I gotta say the shade match turned out really perfect for me. I have more of a neutral undertone when I put on something a little more on the yellowish or, you know, golden side. It looks really yellow and does not match the rest of me. So this turned out really, really perfect match for me. And the foundation, I have heard so much about this foundation in the past that it's really good for dry skin. I remember like trying a sample of it and not liking it a few years ago. So, but I was prompted to try this now mostly because I think I saw some, one of our uh, very famous YouTubers, Marlena Stell, talk about the specific foundation and I do like her foundation recommendations because my other favorite foundation the Armani Power of Fabric was also a recommendation from Marlena back in the day and that is also one of my favorite foundations I really like it so decided to give this a try and boy was I wrong about using it once from the sample and not liking it this foundation is amazing for dry skin my skin is dry, it's not dehydrated. I drink a lot of water, but it's more on the dry side. My skin can peel during the winter time easily. Um, and this foundation is just amazing. You have the Shake Well. You, it it kind of comes like this. I don't like this. I don't like it when foundations are like that. I prefer a pump, but apparently you have to buy the pump separately. That too needs to be ordered online. So I might do that some other time and get the pump. But for now, I can't put this foundation down and I highly recommend it. It's amazing if you have dry skin. Okay, let's move on. I also, what else? I got another NARS product. Okay, so here we have the Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS in the shade light 2.6 cafe con leche this is also an amazing product i think this might be like my third or fourth tube i have been using this for a long time i used to use the shade custard for the longest time because this shade did not exist back in the day this shade came much much later on <laughs> so now i use this one instead of custard it's just just a little bit deeper, I think, than custard. Still more neutral, so it just works really well for my skin. I love this one. Next item is another 
Gucci product. If you guys remember from my previous video, I bought the Gucci bronzer with the limited edition packaging. I wanted to pick up another one of these Gucci blushes, cheeks and eye eyes powder. So yes, you can use it on your eyes. I got it in the shade 07 True Pink. I own like two or three different shades. And then I wanted to add this one. And this is a lovely blush formula, especially for dry skin again. It is very nice. It goes on easily, blends out really nicely on my skin. Uh, usually, sometimes, oh, sometimes blushes can be too drying for me. So this is the packaging. This is the regular packaging that it comes in. And here is the blush, the true pink blush, which I'm really, really loving. I've already worn this a couple times. And it blends out so nicely. Gives that nice glow as well. It looks very pink in there and it looks a little scary, but when you put this on your cheeks and blend it out nicely, it's perfect. My favorite blush brush that I love to use with these kinds of blushes is the NARS blush brush. I don't even know what it's called anymore and it's a very pricey item, but this is one of those brushes that picks up a lot of product so if you have a very powdery blush I wouldn't recommend using this and if you have dry skin it actually helps blend out the product very very nicely on your skin so it does I I highly recommend this brush either way okay moving on I ended up getting one Dior item and that would be the Dior Backstage Eye Palette. I want to say I picked up the last one during the sale because it was sold out after, after my order. The number 11 Silver Essentials. This is a new one that just launched. These are the shades. Here is what the palette looks like. And I have to say I was very reluctant getting this palette. I had seen it when it was first released. I didn't really care for it, but then I watched a couple videos with ladies with like a deeper, darker skin tone, tan skin tone, brown skin tone, and the looks were so beautiful. I have to say, these shades are actually very, very complimentary, even on like a warmer skin tone. And I absolutely love this shade. I know it doesn't look like that, like special, but it looks very nice on the eyes. I have used this, this, this. I have used this shade and I have used the white shade. I have not yet used these shades, but I'm going to swatch these for you guys just to show you. How pretty is this palette, by the way? I have some other backstage palettes as well, but I'm not really crazy about them, if I was being honest. This one, however, is a whole different story. Let's see. Those are the first four shades. Okay. I'm like touching these very, very lightly because these powders are, these eyeshadows are very pigmented and they do pick up quite a bit when you swatch them. And then this is the last shade that I'm loving the deep eggplant kind of shade. I'm going to put this right here. All these shades are very pretty, if you ask me. Alright guys, let's move on to the next product. Oh, yeah, so I also ended up picking up this the Sephora Velour Makeup Face Puff. I hear it's really nice for powder application. So I know it's supposed to be for everything. You can use it for liquid, cream, or powder. But I wanted to give it a try for some powder under the eye area is what I'm hearing. It works very well apparently. So I'll give this a try and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Next, okay, I have some Givenchy products here. 
out. I have three Givenchy products. All limited edition items from Givenchy. So I picked up the Prisma, Prisma Libre Highlighter. Uh, two color loose powder highlighter. This is a limited edition one. It's called Organza number 10. Now I don't, I feel like this was, they released this previously to the same shade. Um, and it was limited edition. This is the packaging. It resembles the loose powder. Hold on. So this is one of the older ones that was a limited edition packaging. And this is a pinker one. This is the number nine Eclat de Rose. This is supposed to be a loose powder and for the face. And I love, absolutely love these powders. They have released blushes in this size, in the same format, the loose powder blush. And I have not tried the previous loose highlighter that they released. So this year they released it like this with a mirror on top. And let's have a look. There's a nice little powder puff in here. And here is what the shades look like. So, the way I like to get these out is I like to put the lid on and then do this and then tap, 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 open it up and then there is some, some of the product in the cap still. So I'm just going to do this and have a look. So this is the highlighter powder. It is very shimmery as you can see, but it's very, very fine texture wise and if I was being honest one of my favorite highlighters is from Givenchy and it's not this one <laughs> but I haven't used this yet it's very pretty though and I feel like you could customize both shades because one looks very bronzy the other looks very pinky so if you wanted you could try and put more pink or more bronze whichever way you want it to be and that is what the highlighter looks like on my skin and it is absolutely gorgeous I will update you guys after I have used it next item is one of their limited edition powder matte finish and enhanced radiance loose powder 4-in-1 again this is like a smaller version like a travel size compared to the large size but the shade is a limited edition shade, as you can see, that's the size difference, in case you guys are wondering. And I have not seen this one, 13 Pastel Celebration Loose Powder, excuse me. And these are the four shades. I love the powders in general, excuse me, the general, in general. <laughs> from this brand so I keep buying them even though I don't need them I can't help myself when it comes to these powders if I was being honest so now it says matte but I'm not sure if this is matte because I feel like I see some shimmer in there I'm gonna do the same thing See, I feel like there's shimmer, right? So this is not exactly matte matte. Yeah, there is definitely a lot of shimmer in there. So nothing matte. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, there is some serious shimmer going on in there. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. Because on the container, on the box, it says it's matte. If you can see, matte finish and enhanced radiance loose powder. I don't think radiance is supposed to mean shimmer, <laughs> but okay, here is the, and then the last item I got from this brand is another skin caring highlighter. So I gotta say the highlighters that come out from Givenchy are so good. 
I have never used the liquid one before. This is a limited edition. There's two shades, a bronzy one and a pinky one. I got the pink one. It's called Rose Extravaganza. And this is this looked really nice. I looked at it in the Sephora store. Let's watch it. Just a little bit. It's like a little doe foot applicator. The packaging is always so nice. Okay. So this is more of that sophisticated lit from within glow. I love it. Absolutely love it. So let me know if you guys want to see everything I have from this brand because I absolutely adore this brand. <laughs> And this is uh, something that was on my list of things that I needed to get. So I ended up getting it during the sale. And last but not least, I got one of the eyeshadow palettes or quads from YSL. The Couture Mini Clutch Eyeshadow. High intensity pigments, long wear, comfort in 400 Babylon Roses. I... I'm going to show you guys this, but I'm not going to swatch it because I have a video coming up where I have like four different ones that I've picked up. I want to swatch all of those in them. This is the packaging. Isn't this cute? It is so YSL. It's not even funny. It feels like a little YSL card holder to me in my hands. And, um... These were initially released and were sold out completely. I could not get my hands on this for a very long time. They suddenly came back in stock right around the sale time, so I decided to pick up one from Sephora. And then I picked up one of the shades that are two of the shades that are, were not available in the U.S. at all. But out of those two, one of them was available on YSL's U.S. website, in a limited edition packaging which looked very pretty so I have that one that I'm going to show you guys the, and then another one that is like a Europe exclusive and I brought one more from the YSL store so that's coming up in another video for now let me just show you guys what this looks like on the inside oh so pretty three very shimmery shades and then one very matte looking shade I can't wait to play with these. I have not yet worn them. So that's number 400 Babylon Roses. All right, guys, that's everything I picked up from the Sephora VIB sale. There was one more item on my list that I wanted to get, which was the Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge Palette. I could not get my hands on it because the store I went shopping to was sold out. So I would have to place an order for it to get to me. So what I did instead was I placed an order on Huda's website. So it's coming and we'll be here soon. And then I will upload a swatch video for you guys on that one. Until next time, this is Amira signing off. Bye now.